Hey everybody, today I'm just going to show you what I call my minifigure wall, and it's basically just a wall where I store all the different, like, little instruction manuals for every single series of LEGO minifigures. Subscribe to Brick Lumber 18 for more daily LEGO videos. As you can see, my minifigure wall is on the closet next to the doorway where I sell all these LEGO minifigures. They're all for sale. And it actually looks pretty neat there because when you walk in the LEGO room, you instantly see the different LEGO minifigures I have. And it's right next to my filming studio. So up here, as you can see, I have Series 1 LEGO minifigures and I actually don't have a single Series 1 minifigure. Next to that is Series 2 and I do have a little bit more Series 2 minifigures, but still not a lot. Series 3 is over here, and again, it was pretty rough. I think I only have four figures, and two of them I got from trades afterwards. Series 4, I didn't have a lot of Series 4, and then I found some Series 4 minifigures last March for sale at a store, so that was very good. Series 5 is definitely the worst series for me. All I have is like the English Guard, the Bobby, I think they're called, which is pretty cool. He's an awesome figure. Series 6, I have a little bit more, like three, four. Again, I wasn't big into collecting minifigures. Series 7 came along and I became much more interested in collecting LEGO minifigures. As you can see, I'm only missing a few. Series 8, I was like, I'm going to collect all of these. And as you can see, I have, and this is the only series that I've actually gotten, all 16 LEGO minifigures. Because I was broke from Series 8, and Series 9 is not filled in. There's several figures that I am missing. Mr. Gold came out in Series 10, so I made up my mind that I was going to get him. And I ended up spending a lot of money on minifigures. But I still ended up missing three LEGO minifigures, and I didn't get Mr. Gold. Series 11, you know, nothing too spectacular about that series. I have some of them, I don't have some of them, you know. The LEGO Movie, I wanted to collect them all, but I just could not find LEGO Movie figures anywhere, so I managed to get these few, but still not very much. The first series of The Simpsons came out, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy all these Simpsons figures, and then I realized I hated The Simpsons series, so I only bought three. Series 12 was a much better series, and I did my best trying to find the ones that I'm missing. As you can see, I'm only missing two. Series 13 was a much better series, and I'm only missing one. I got a couple of the hot dog guys, but I've sold him. Again, the Series 2 Simpsons minifigures kind of sucked, so I only ended up with two or three of those. Three of them again. And two of them were gifts. Series 14, definitely one of the coolest series yet. I'm only missing a couple, and one of them is The Fly, which is unfortunate because that was one I was really trying to get. And there you have it, my minifigure wall. You're probably wondering, uh, where is Series 15? I have not been able to find Series 15 yet, but when I do, I'll be moving this Elizabeth Banks poster all the way down to the floor. And then I'll be putting Series 15 up here. I, but I won't be doing that until Series 16 or whatever the next series comes out. Because it's a lot of work to move that poster. So in the time being, I'll actually be putting my Series 15 minifigure sheet right in that spot. And I'll be storing my Series 15 minifigures right here. As you can see, these are all the Series 14 minifigures. They're right there until they get moved over here. On the other side of my LEGO room, where I store all my CMF minifigures. Fun fact of the history of Brick Lover 18, I used to store all my minifigures on this cabinet because it holds like 60 minifigures and I never ever thought I'd get that many, but when I started to fill it up, what I'd do would take all the other series minifigures, you know, disassemble them, bag them up, and then just put the current few series until it was full. But then I realized that was kind of stupid to bag them up because I was spending so much money on them, I decided that I'd display them on a different shelf. Well then I realized that was also kind of stupid because I might as well just display all the minifigures together. So that's how this shelf came to be. As you can see there are several, I think 100 and 200 maybe figures on this shelf. Fun history fact, I actually used to store all my minifigure sheets here on this closet, like four length and how many deep it needed. And I stored them there since I got this Lego room in November of 2014 I think. So they've been there for a really long time, but then I got this big studio desk where it came up like this, as well as this studio brick, and then that decal, and there was just too much, and you could never see the minifigures, so that's why I decided to move them there, and then just put these various LEGO Movie posters. Thanks everybody so much for watching this tour of my minifigure wall, and like a little brief history of my LEGO minifigure collection. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you thought, and if you ever want to see more videos like this, and let me know down below how much you collect each series. Do you collect a little from each series like I do? 
did you start out collecting them all and now don't collect any of them? Do you collect every single minifigure from every single series? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching.